it's just amazing how, how life blossoms when it's left alone. Kopachuk State Park, located 35 miles southwest of Seattle and Washington's beautiful Puget Sound. One of the most unique parks in the country. A 109 acre marine and camping park with over 5,000 feet of public access saltwater shoreline on Henderson Bay. A tiny little island rest nearby available for families to explore. Well, when the tide gets low enough, it's not too hard to swim out to the island. So it's only really about an hour from home. We get on the Fauntleroy Ferry and come over. Don't have to drive a lot. And it's also rich in history. The name Kopachuk originated from Chinook jargon, the trade language of the Pacific Coastal Indians. Kopachuk is a merging of two words, Kopa meaning at and Chuck meaning water. This scenic park was once a seasonal fishing and clamming site of the Puyallup and Nisqually tribes. Chief Leshai's father lived in the area, in that village. Also, T.T. Waterman, during his expedition of the 1920s, wrote to the village in his papers. Cuts Island, which sets in the water a half a mile away from the park proper, is also known as Dead Men's Island, or by the native people as Kualilits, which means crows. The Dead Men's name derives from the history that the island was used by saltwater tribes who buried their dead in canoes placed in the forks of trees. This was a common practice with many of the small islands like Cuts. Cuts Island is the last pristine uh, island it contains the remains of the Indian people, and it should be kept that way. Today, Kopachuk is one of the last places in the sound as beautiful today as those many years ago. There's a lot of wildlife in it, in most parts. And it's public access, not privately owned beachfront. It's a place where anyone, not just beach owners, can hang out and get into the water, come to swim, Come to hike, come and camp. Come to think and see the wildlife. Smell the native flowers. Kopachuk State Park and 10 others are now on the chopping block. Why? What's going on, man? I mean, parks are what bring people to communities. State parks in general, I think, are really important. Um, a place where you can go without spending a bunch of money. It would probably cost more to have a levy election to run a bond measure than it would to keep this park operating for another year. Save our park! Save our park! You could close every state park and you would still not fill the budget hole. You know, why, why would we even consider closing state parks? Conservation, whether we realize it or not, it's been a gift to us. Shouldn't our future generations have that gift too? They were created to preserve these green space resources before they are gone. This is everybody's park. And we, I need help from my fellow legislators for to make sure that we keep these parks funded and that we keep them open. You don't sell your assets. That's just stupid. That's short-term thinking. I mean, you never get those parks back. Former President Teddy Roosevelt, who helped institute the creation of our national park system, was once quoted saying, the conservation of natural resources is the fundamental problem. Unless we solve that problem, it will avail us little to solve all others. Many early settlers once earned their living logging on our pristine wilderness. Some of these colossal trees were recorded to be over 400 feet tall and up to 18 feet wide. Almost all of these giants were cut down in the name of economics. And if given the chance, we may see them again in another 500 years. Every time I see a tree cut down anywhere, I worry about us losing our environment. Think back. That acre of forest you once played in near your childhood home, that's now a development. People are always going to need more land, which means someday every square foot of private land will be developed. But there should be a line drawn somewhere, should not there be? Over 40 million people visit our state parks each year. Even a slight raise in camping fees could potentially save the park. They preserve and nurture critical local wildlife. They educate people about that wildlife and reduce stress in our lives. Save Kopachuk, please! We've got engaged right in this campsite. And there's a rock down the beach. I, I do a lot of thinking down there. Things you get to do on a sunny day in your community, that's going to be a lot harder to access once that, that place is gone. Pristine wilderness will continue to be more of a limited resource and like any other limited resource, it will run out unless we have the foresight 
to preserve it today. I have a lot of memories here and I don't want the park to be closed down. Is it our right to fix today's financial problems by selling out conservation efforts for future generations? We don't think so either. Governors come and go, financial meltdowns come and go. I'm one in a million. There's millions of people that have passion for these parks in this state. And, and I don't know what the governor's plans for re-election are, but uh, you know what, you do this and you're gonna off a lot of people. Once parks are gone, they will always be gone. It's our natural heritage, something inside that's indescribable when we connect with nature. It's our duty, our responsibility to preserve it. Save Copachuck State Park.